a former senior aide to Representative Blake Farenthold, has approached the House Ethics Committee to share a damning account of working for the Texas Republican with the intent of describing the congressman as verbally abusive and sexually demeaning and his congressional office as an intensely hostile environment that drove the aide to physical and emotional distress. Michael Ricola, who was Farenthold's communications director in 2015, described in an interview with CNN new details of the congressman's abusive behavior. It ranged from making sexually graphic jokes to berating aides bullying that Ricola says led him to seek medical treatment and psychological counseling and at one point caused him to vomit daily. One comment from the congressman was especially personal. Ricola was about to leave town to get married in July 2015 when, he said, Farenthold, standing within earshot of other staffers in his Capitol Hill office, said to the groom-to-be, better have your fiancé blow you before she walks down the aisle it will be the last time. He then proceeded to joke about whether Ricola's now wife could wear white on her wedding day a clear reference, Ricola said, to whether she had had premarital sex. I was disgusted and I left. I walked out, Ricola said. Almost immediately after returning from his wedding, he gave his two weeks notice. Those crude remarks in the summer of 2015 mark just one of many instances in which Farenthold made sexually charged comments to her in the presence of AIDS, Ricola said. During the nine months that he worked for the congressman, Ricola said, he was also subject to a stream of angry behavior not sexual in nature screaming fits of rage, slamming fists on desks and castigating aides, including regularly calling them f-tards. Elizabeth Peace was hired to help with Farenthold's communications efforts in May 2015 when Ricola was sometimes out of the office to deal with his stomach ailment. Peace, who eventually became a full-time communications director, confirmed in an interview that Farenthold regularly called AIDS F-tards. She also said she was present when Farenthold made the oral sex comment about Ricola's then fiancé. Every staffer in that area heard it, Peace said. It was the most shocking thing I'd heard him say at that point. In a response to questions from CNN, Farenthold denied in a statement ever making comments to Ricola about receiving oral sex from his then fiance or whether she could wear a white dress. He acknowledged that he regularly referred to AIDS as F-tards, but that it was in jest, not in anger. The Ethics Committee declined to comment to CNN for its usual protocol of not commenting on any ongoing investigations. It is currently investigating sexual harassment allegations made by Ferenthold's former aide, Lauren Green. The congressman has previously denied any wrongdoing in the Green case. Ricola told CNN that in 2015, the media coverage of Green's lawsuit against the congressman appeared to fuel Ferenthold's erratic and volatile behavior.
Minor mistakes or oversights a typo or a failure to respond to emails fast enough, regardless of what hour of the day, could trigger furious outbursts. Every time he didn't like something, he would call me a bat tartar idiot. He would slam his fist down in rage and explode in anger, Ricola said. He was flying off the handle on every little thing. I couldn't find a way to control it. Ferrand Hold also frequently made lewd comments about the appearance of women including reporters and lobbyists, Ricola said, remarking on the size of women's breasts and buttocks. Some of Ricola's colleagues joked about being on Redeed Patrol a reference to Ferrand Hold's well-known affinity for women with red hair, this detail was also described in Green's lawsuit against Ferrand Hold. Ricola passed out in a bathroom aboard the aircraft carrier. When he came to, he said he had unbearable pain in his stomach. He drove himself to a nearby hospital, with his wife giving him directions on the phone. Ferrant Holt and the congressman's wife visited him at the hospital, Ricola said, and were super friendly, going out of their way to try to ensure that the hospital took special care of him. Two of Ricola's close friends who worked on Capitol Hill at the time told CNN that he confided in them throughout 2015 about Ferrand Hold's abusive behavior and witnessed his deteriorating health. They asked not to be identified to protect their privacy. Ricola described 2015 as the darkest period of his life. He said he was healthy until starting his job at Ferrand Hold's office and began suffering from stomach pains and daily vomiting. Ferrand Hold said in the statement to CNN Wednesday that he witnessed Ricola's constant struggle with his stomach ailment. Ricola said he visited former colleagues at Ferrand Hold's office a handful of times after leaving his job. He said that he was recently tested for food allergies and is allergic to some things. While there is no way to know for sure the exact cause of Ricola's medical problems, he said his doctor and therapist believe the stomach illness likely stemmed from stress. Ricola said he thought about quitting constantly. But it was a financial movement, and his fiance could not afford to make it the time, and they decided to stick it out until at least after the wedding. Ricola said he looked for ways to spend as little time on Capitol Hill as possible, particularly when he knew Ferrand Hold would be in the office. He never reported his boss's behavior to the Office of Compliance. I made a conscientious effort with my then fiancé at the time because our wedding was August 8, Ricola said. Like any staffer who's been bullied, I knew that the dirty secret is there's no remedy for staffers like us. Move off the hill and be silent or risk coming out and being blackballed.
Ricola told CNN that he has heard from multiple female friends and colleagues in recent days, encouraging him to share his story. In one text message viewed by CNN, Ricola's friend wrote, Dude I'm proud of you. There needs to be more people, especially, guys coming forward and saying this has got to stop, it's not the 1950s anymore, where you can play grab ass with all the secretaries.